Today I'm going to take a look at a test for one of the most common forms of synesthesia. It's testing the experience of seeing colours when you think of numbers, dates, letters or sounds. If you don't know anyone with this ability, that might sound hard to believe, but this test is extremely difficult to fool. Attempting it showed me that some people have a deep association with colour that goes far beyond what's possible with just memory. This test is run by a research group and one of these researchers wrote a very insightful book about synesthesia called Wednesday is Indigo Blue. Now I don't have synesthesia myself, but in researching this video I found out I knew someone who did. So I'm first going to give you my impressions of the test and then get a real synesthete's reaction to it. And over the course of this video you may come to realize that you either do or do not experience synesthesia yourself. You might be familiar with anesthesia, which is given during surgery to avoid pain. Anesthesia means no sensation, and sharing a common linguistic root is the word synesthesia, meaning joined sensation. People with synesthesia experience some of their senses being joined together. This might be colour and number, or even sounds, taste and physical touch. This test is called the synesthesia battery. It starts by asking which type of synesthesia you think you have, and there are so many different combinations. A grapheme is the smallest unit of a writing system, so it might be a letter or a group of letters or even a number. People with grapheme colour synesthesia see in their mind a certain colour associated with every number. So for example, one might be red, two might be blue, and three might be green. But we can also see on here musical pitch to colour, taste to colour, smell to colour, pain to colour, personalities to colour. Another interesting one is sequences to spatial locations. People with this might visualise numbers, letters, weekdays, months or even just time spread out in the 3D space around them. These are some illustrations from people who experience the world like this. There's vision to sound, where seeing a picture causes you to hear a sound, or sound to touch, for example hearing an aeroplane fly past, which causes a distinct sensation of touch. There aren't tests for all of these, this website mainly examines the ones that link to colour, and it does this through the colour picker tool. We are shown one by one a number or a letter, and asked to assign what colour that evokes in our mind. You should try it yourself, think about what colour you would assign to each of these, but don't write it down, because the real test is in trying to give a consistent answer. We will be shown each letter and number three times randomly during the course of the test, and will be marked on how consistently we assigned its colour. I've already forgotten what colour I gave to some of these. Here are my results. The bar indicates how much deviance there was, so a short bar would indicate that you gave the symbol the same colour every time, meaning you do likely have synesthesia. Most of mine ended up being pretty random choices, so my bars are pretty high. Overall, I scored a 3.1. It says a score below 1 is ranked as synesthetic. Non-synesthetes asked to use memory or free association typically score in the range of a 2. 0 is an impossibly perfect score given the millions of possibilities on this colour picker. So someone trying to pretend they have this condition by memorising a colour for each symbol will likely still only score a 2. This colour picker test also exists for days of the week, calendar months, Chinese numerals, musical notes, musical chords, and instruments. The next test is even harder. It flashes the symbol up in a random colour, and I have to quickly answer whether that matched my mental colour or not. It is called the speed congruency test. My accuracy rating is only 27%. Ratings below 85% typically rule out synesthesia. But that's to be expected because I didn't believe that I had it. So how about someone who does have this ability? How would they score? I've been working on this video about synesthesia and I was watching a number file video from 11 years ago. Did not expect to scroll down to the comments and see a familiar face, but I saw that your comment saying you had synesthesia was one of the top ones and I thought, I recognize this face. I actually remember making that comment. It 
kept getting replies for years after. Like I would get notifications of people replying saying stuff like, no, number eight is like blue and like... Oh, you sparked a bit of um, controversy. I'm curious, when did you realize that you had it? I think it was a conversation for the longest time. I remember when I was a kid, I would like have passionate arguments with my cousin about whether Monday was like bright red or blue and but I think somewhere in my late teens I must have found those YouTube videos and I must have discovered that it was called synesthesia and like done a bit more research on it. I never realized there was a test though which was really cool to find out. In that case I'm very interested to hear how you did on this test. How did it go for you? Surprisingly it was very difficult <laughs> but I did get a score of 0.3 three six that seems pretty good because they said anything less than one is synesthesia right yeah i think that's a pass but it was so hard um because i'd never before tried to actually pinpoint these colors in my head in real life trying to find the specific shades was so difficult i could not really like pinpoint how it was and i kept changing some shades then i still think a score like that is incredible to me this test seems impossible to do, like like completely otherworldly that you could score such a low um, a low variance on it. There are additional questions on the battery test that seek to classify someone's synesthesia into one of two types projector or associator. For an associator, they see things like the coloured letters in their mind's eye. When shown a text on a page, associators know that each letter has a colour, but they don't actually see colour on the page. However, if you are a projector, it means that you physically see the colour projected onto the page in front of you. When I think of a number, I guess I kind of see the number, but kind of like fuzzy, blurry, not super HD. And it's uh, coloured in the colour that uh, is assigned to it. Like right now I'm looking at a calendar that I have up here and I can see the number 11 and that's written in black but somehow I also see that as white but not physically. It's really hard to describe. It's like a filter that's there or like a second hidden layer. Another type of test that may point to grapheme color synesthesia are images like this. What do you see? Perhaps you notice that there are some fives and also some twos. But for those of you whose numbers pop out in colour, you might have more easily spotted a pattern to the twos, arranged in a little triangle. Research has shown that synesthetes are very likely to participate in creative activities. It doesn't surprise me that there seem to be a few notable synesthetes in mathematics. Research mathematics is a creative discipline, and add to that the ability to play around with numbers that have colour, taste, or even personality. It was said of math genius Ramanujan that every number was one of his personal friends, so perhaps he had a kind of synesthesia that's known as ordinal linguistic personification. Physicist Richard Feynman said, When I see equations, I see the letters in colour. I don't know why. As I'm talking, I see vague pictures of Bessel functions with light tan J's, slightly violet bluish N's, and dark brown X's flying around. And I wonder what it must look like to the students. Do you think um, this ability like, affects your life or your creative work in any way? Mostly it feels like it's just there. I don't think it adds anything particularly special. I guess I could sometimes use it in intentional ways, like to, to remember something or to create a link between one thing to another to be able to remember it better, that sort of thing. Some research has shown that synesthesia is four times as common among people who also experience ASMR, the name given to the tingling sensation that some people get. ASMR can be triggered by all sorts of sensory input, from whispering or tapping or even just visuals, so it itself may be some kind of synesthesia, where the senses are linked together in unexpected ways. If you experience synesthesia, let me know down below how does it manifest for you, and what colour is your number 7. Thanks for watching, and thanks to my Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. A special shout out to today's Patreon Cat of the Day, Danika Katrick.